someone has just invited you to a series of events and they've sent it to you in text format. So you're going to have to add them to your calendar. Now you could add them one at a time, but if you're using Google Calendar, you can create a file and just import them. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little bit tricky and the documentation isn't that clear. So you're going to have to watch closely. Okay, so first Google Calendar explains briefly how to import events to Google Calendar. And typically this is somebody's going to send you a file, but if you need to create your own file, then you'll need to have at least these two, the subject heading, only the first two headers in this list are required. So the subject of the event and the start date. You don't even need to have a start time. There are other things that we can put in. We'll look at those in a moment, such as the end date, end time, is it an all day event and so on. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Let's just start with a very simple entry. We're going to have this one. The subject is Wednesday workshop and the start date is the 12th of the 4th. So I just did this by creating a Google Sheet and that is going to allow me to export it as, as a CSV file. And one thing super important to note is that this is not a Google Sheet date format. This needs to be in a text format because if I set it to a Google Sheet format, say a custom date and time, such as um, something, something uh, like this, then that is going to export that word and Google Calendar is not going to understand those terms. And so Google Calendar will say no events to import. So we need to have it in this text format. So how to do that? You go to format and then uh, plain text here. Okay. And so I'm actually going to be typing this in, not in a date format, but just, just as text itself in Australia. Outside of the US, generally, you put the day followed by the month, followed by uh, the year. Now, that may look very odd to you because if you're in the US, uh, you're probably thinking that is the 4th of December. In fact, that's actually for us uh, in Australia, we go 12th of April. You just need to use a format that your Google Calendar is going to recognize the time, the date time format as. So let's just export that one. I go download as CSV and I'm just going to call it uh, Wednesday Workshop. That's the name of the event. It's a, a CSV format and I click save. Great, so you can see that there's the file there. Let's import that now. In I log into my own Google Calendar, settings menu, settings here, import, and then I need to select that file, which is that one there. And once I open that, I click import, I should get the message, imported one out of one event. So let's have a quick look at the calendar and make sure that that event is there. Wednesday workshop, beautiful. Okay. And that has come in Wednesday, April the 12th. But now let's say I want to have another event and I'm going to add another little bit more detail here. And this one is going to be a marketing webinar. And that one is going to be 13th of April. Remember, I'm following day slash month, even though that looks odd to you. And I'm going to start it at 10 a.m. And I'll put in an end time as well. And I'm going to make it 11 a.m. And I'm also going to say, well, that is not an all day event. So I'm going to say false here, but it will know that anyway from seeing the start and end time. And now I'm going to put in a description as well. And I might have a link to the actual Zoom event. So now I've still got this one here. I actually don't want to import that one again, but I don't mind if it comes in a second time. But now I'm going to do the marketing webinar. And now I've got a description as well. So let's download that. And let's import it. 
settings again. Okay, I'll get the same name, Wednesday workshop doesn't matter. So that has imported two events. Let's have a quick look at them now. And I've got this marketing webinar. And if I click on it, I can see that it includes the description with the link to my Zoom meeting. So this is really, really good. Okay, now the next thing that we might want to do is just have a weekly Wednesday webinar, a Wednesday workshop. And we're going to do that for, that's going to be for the 19th. 26th and so on. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll put in a start time as well. And so I'm going to say that's at uh, 10 a.m. And the end time is going to equal that. The same as, this, as the start end date is going to equal that one. So you can see how this works. Okay. And that's going to equal that. So what you can do here is then start to flesh out, maybe put in new descriptions here. Uh, okay, so this is going to be, this is going to be week one. Uh, this one will be week two, week three. Whatever it is that you want to put in the description, you can add a location if you want. Let's say that this is going to be at the Sydney Opera House. I don't know if that's, if uh, Google is going to find, find that Google Calendar. But now we've got some events. I'm going to save that, download. And now I've got a new file to import. And we'll see how that works. Beautiful, it's imported four events, which is wonderful. And uh, what about this one with the Sydney Opera House? Let's see what it's done here. Oh! How good is that? Yes. <laughs> so I've put in a location there and it has, Google has found the way to that location. Obviously you can put in a street address there as well. That is how to import events into Google Calendar. And you'll probably find that if you have a lot of events, then having it, being able to share that CSV file uh, or being able to import those events just makes it a lot easier to manage. One last bonus tip, which is that if you are organizing the event, or in fact, even if you're not, if it's a recurring event, you can do that in Google Calendar itself. So let's say that I've got the Friday uh, fun day and I'm going to say that that is a uh, that is an all day event. Click, and that's a repeating event. And I want to repeat that every weekly weekly on Friday. I can do that, and that's a nice easy way to create events to create recurring events without having to go through the whole CSV thing. So if I do that, look at this: all these Friday fun days. There we go.